What's up guys, Card Protagonist here, and today I'll be doing a booster box opening of the all new Card Fight Vanguard Fighters Collection 2016. I'm really excited for this set because it is time for G Guardians. G Guardians basically um, new G units that allows you to discard your heal triggers from your hand to, to summon cards from your G zone to protect your life. Normally they come in high values such as 15k or above, depending on the fulfilled conditions. So this is the um, this is the very set that introduced G Guardians to every single clan in the set. So I'm really excited for it because it is a change of meta and the game is going to get fresh. And according to what I've tested, G Guardians is really good for the game since you last longer um, and t since games tend to last longer and can at least strike longer, I guess. Really good for glass cannon clans such as my Brave deck. So yeah, let's get right to it. Uh, actually, before that, let's just enjoy the box first. As you can see, you can see um, all the G... No, it's not exactly GRs. You can see a bunch of units right here. Yeah. We only get such uh, such a box once in a while, so enjoy it. Alright, uh, each pack contains three cards and all of the cards are actually holographic. So yeah, this is just a heads up for you guys. Alright, Chrono Shino. Chrono Shindo in his, in his face. And, and his smile got wiped off by a little kid. A little girl. Oh, his sleeves. So apparently you can get uh, cuts this cut fight Vanguard fifth anniversary sleep in here. Oh my god! I guess I should have bought more boxes. Eh? Not really, but the sleeves actually look really really nice. So you get a free sleeve for every box you buy. How many pieces? I'm just gonna count for you guys for the sake of you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So you get 10 pieces of the 5th anniversary sleeves for every booster box you buy. So I guess you need to buy 10 boxes to get one um, sleeve set for your, for your actual deck, for your main deck. Or you could just use it for your G Guardians, I guess. I'll be using it for my G Guardians, it looks pretty nice. Alright, so let us see what the contents. They have added this piece of paper in here. So now, yeah, this is basically the paper that introduced you to G Guardians. So they teach you how to use G Guardians. So basically, you add up the power of your Guardian. Okay, this is fucking common sense. You add up the, um, the defense value of the card and to your power, and then use a skill based on based on its based on the card text. Yeah. So yeah, it's common sense. It's self self explanatory. The card list. I don't understand anything, but I'm gonna put it one side. Alright. Let's smell the pack. Mm. Smell the plastic. Alright, let us start the booster pack opening. Um, really, I, I'm not gonna tear, I'm gonna use scissors this time. Alright. Alright, and the first card we. This is the G Guardian for um Nubatam, is it? Um Shitashikaze, yeah. Tashikaze G Guardian. The Pale Moon G Guardian. I actually forgot what their skills are. And the cutest leopard in the It's a dragon leopard. It's really really cute. Really love it. Oh my god, that art. Let's read up what this skill is. Right. So what this card does is basically uh, give you a sec. There are so many cards in this set. Great nature. Omni Science Dragon Him Hirimters. He means he rinters. So what it does is at the end of this battle that this unit attacks a Vanguard. You may pay the cost of Soul Blast 1. If you do, choose off one of your rear guards and he gains the 4k power on your end of turn. Then you may have that unit gains the 4k power. Hum then you may get have that unit gain at plus another 4k until end of turn. If you do, at the end of turn, retire that unit and if the chosen unit power is with this effect, it's 2k or more, draw a card. Hmm, interesting. Uh, something new that you guys who play a Great Nature could use, I guess. So, I'd say it's pretty good. I love the art. That's all I can say. Alright, the Nova Grapplers, G Guardian. Sweet. The Gear Chronicle G Guardian. I, this one I know. This is basically when you G Guardian, 
uh, shuffle back one normal unit and one trigger unit back into your deck if you do against 5k power. So it's amazing because when you discard for that heal, you can gain, you can shuffle back that heal back into your deck. So basically, you're like gonna, you're gonna have a high chance of checking the heal or discarding the heal, recycling that heal again for another G guard. And the Aqua Force. And what the skill is? Marine General of Heavenly Silk Crystals. So it's another one of those Lambros, Lambros units because it's a Heavenly Silk. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, it will pay the cost of... Oh, it's basically a Wave 1. So it must be the Wave first time only. So basically, it says to be the first attack, I guess. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you can counter Blast 1 if you do. Until end of turn, all Rear Guards on your front row gives us 2k power and the ability, third wave... Wave third or fourth time only when that unit attacks hits the Vanguard, you can draw a card. Oh my god, this is amazing with um, Tidal Assault because Tidal Assault is only 9k base attack. You give it plus 2k and you can solo the opponent's Vanguard. Pretty interesting card. I'm definitely liking this. So you guys doesn't have you guys don't have Lime Bros. You can actually give this guy a try. Very good card. All right, next. Hmm, the Shadow Paladin G Guardian. The new Nectar G Guardian. The very first G Guardian reviewed in the show. And the Narukami one. This actually kind of looks like a body fight unit. Yeah, what the skill is? Narukami. Light Lightning King Spirit Emperor. Viritra. Damn, you're making the name. It is. Oh, no. This is not. A, sorry, wrong card. Damn, that's, that was a G Guardian. Give me a sec. Now, uh, Conquering Supering Dragon, Vo Vortex Zapper Dragon. Oh, that's a very nice, very cool name. Ability Thunder Strike 3. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, until end of the battle, until the end of the battle, this unit gains a power plus 10k and a new skill. Counter plus 1 at the end of the battle, you may pay the cost. If you do, for every 2 cards in your opponent bind zone, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and tie it and bind a card face up. So for so as a Narukami specializes in using bind zone, so if you give your opponent many many cards in the bind zone, you can use this guy and retire uh, many of their stuffs. So yeah, good alternative to the Vanquisher place. I know Vanquishers are going up in price because Narukami is a really good actually. This is uh, the Murakumo one. Spike Rider, G Guardian, very nice. And a Generation Rare uh, OTT unit. What her skill is. Lot of Guidance Wakahirume. Mm, ability. <clears throat> Generation Break 2 Oracle. Oracle. Counter Blast 1 and choose a face, face down card name. Basically, face a uh, flip out a copy of herself in the G zone. When this unit attack is a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card and choose a card in your hand and put it on top of your deck. Very interesting. Basically, you could draw one card, then put a tri crit trigger on top. So, guarantee you checking a crit. Very nice. Definitely gonna play her in my OTT. Next pack. Uh, this is the Grand Blue G Guardian. It's just a undead dragon. The Great Nature one, and Spike Brothers. Super uh, Super Heavy Tank Tiger Centurion. Um, skill, activate once per turn, counter blast one, choose any number of your regards with the charge ability and they become charging until end of turn. So basically what this means is when they become charging, and they, you can only become charging when they super call from the deck, I believe. And if it becomes charging, you basically have to send it back. Uh, send It gains plus 10k power and you can, must send it back to at the end of the battle. And then choose up to 5 of your regards other than the chosen units with this effect and it gains plus 2k power on your end of turn. So yeah. D 
Divovo's G Guardian, Murakomo's G Guardian, and the Boomer Triangle Trip R. Very pretty. I think the skill is pretty simple. Activate uh, once per turn, so blast one. If you do, bounce back two cards on your field to your hand. So yeah, very simple cost. Very nice art. Look at her, so cute, so kawaii, so kawaii and shit. Sorry. Alright, this is the Kagero G Guardian. If your opponent's, um, when this card enters, I believe the ability is your opponent control four or less rear guards. Yeah, it gives us 5k power. So yeah. Oh, Sea Breeze. Yes, the end of all the, the Blaster Lock, the Blaster Grid Lock deck. I've been waiting for you, Sea Breeze. The Sea Breeze ability is when your opponent uh, purposely Great Lock you once for one turn, or basically if your opponent didn't write that previous turn, you may you even if even if your opponent is still at Great Two, you can perform Strike, activate Counter Blast Two, and strike this from uh, strike this onto your Vanguard Circle. So it's <clears throat> it's really good because it allows you to activate all your GB1 skills, even your opponent tries to great long you. Because most of the time, um, GB decks such as Gear Chronicles actually die out because they don't have the GB skill, and this Sea Breeze actually helps the deck a lot. And one, um, yeah, I actually use it in my in my card fight area. Very, very good card. Count Blast 1, select select uh, 3 units and for each rest unit it gains us 1k power so most of the time your opponent's gonna have more than 5 rest units so it's gonna gain plus 5k very nice it's like soul saver dragon for count plus 1 uh, because it's because mega currently actually lacking on offensive units other than locking I mean like um, stunning so this is actually a good alternative for the deck the create elemental G guardian mega Kali G guardian it actually looks really good and finally the D robo uh, it's not the hero, so sorry, it's Cosmic Heroes. I'm gonna read out skill. Cos uh, X Phoenix. Auto. Counter Blast 1. At the end of the battle, that this unit attacks a Vanguard. If this unit power is plus, is 35k or greater, and the attack did not hit during a turn, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card. Hmm. S sounds very epic, but you only get to draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. Counter Blast 1, draw 1. Hmm. Well, it's interesting, I guess. So if you don't if you didn't hit, you get a plus one. Ah, yes, the anti, the anti uh, guard break, G Guardian. Basically, this card has the resist skill, and select one of your rear guards against plus resist until end of turn. So it protects your rear guards as well. So Angel Feather could actually use her. Yeah, very good. The Link Joker G Guardian, basically it locks itself. Kind of weird that you name it Star Vida. I actually prefer it to be Messiah since it locks itself. Messiah is more into locking itself and stuff. Oh, and the GR um, Grand Blue stuff. I know Paddy wants this for sure, right? Hmm, congrats, bro. Um, her art re looks really awesome. Man, I really love Grand Blue and their art now. Okay, so sexy. Alright, let's see what her skill is. Demon C Queen Mer Demon C Queen Marid Marid. Okay. <clears> the <throat> skills activate Vanguard Circle. Counter Blast 1 and choose a face down card from Jason and turn it face up so you can cheat, uh, turn anything up. And choose a card from your hand and discard it. Choose up to the same number of normal units from your drop zone as the number of face up cards named uh, Demon C Queen Marid from your G zone and sum up their grades being 4 or less and call it to separate regard circles and increase this unit attack power by the sum of the original power of the units caught with the effect. So basically if you call 2 units which is 10k each, 2 10k units gives us 20k power. Whoa, huge powerhouse. It's amazing because um, she's able to recruit lots of cards from the drop zone. So previously those units you, you know, have been hollowed and sent to drop zone, next turn you can just recruit her using her skill. Very very good card. Personally I really like her and I feel that she needs to be played in the Grand Blue deck now. And finally, the last pack of Destiny. Destiny pack. So I pull a Legion Rare. Yes, my Legion Rare is the Bumu is the Bumuda G Guardian man. Not even what her skill is, but her art looks dashing. Yeah, very nice. The Gold Paladin one. 
something I'm waiting for. Oh, I didn't pull the Grog Paladin. Damn it. Alright. And finally, a generation rare um, Bastard. So basically, it's the restander for Nova Grapplers. So yeah. I, I'm going to read the skill out. Not to be lazy, because I'm, I'm bad, you guys. is also quite curious about the skill. Hmm. Name, Meteor Kaiser Bastard. His skill, Auto Vanguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, once per turn, Counter Blast 1 and choose a face up card in your G zone, turn it face up, you can, so you can turn up anything. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose the same number of rear guards as the number of face up uh, Meteor Kaiser Bastard in your G zone and stand them. If two or more units were st stood by this effect, and you have five rear guards until end of battle, this unit gains a new skill. Counter Blast 1 and choose two of the cards in your hand, discard them. And until I turn this, if you pay the cost, you can re-stand this unit and it gains and it, uh, loses two, two dry checks. So it's basically a Spectral Diablo at a cheap cost. Not a really cheap cost. Uh, as it is quite, quite cheap as long as you have the, the few formation. It is a pretty, uh, pretty decent re-standing attack. Especially if your opponent has to gut another huge power attack. It doesn't really matter how much, how many... doesn't really matter if you lose that drive. So yeah, pretty decent. Pretty good card. I uh, actually need it because I play the deck. So I hope you guys enjoy my booster box opening of Fighters Collection 2016. Be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel. Peace out and love you guys. And um, do not worry, I'll be making the um, giveaway video really soon uh, because I've been getting the stuff today. So, yeah, thank you guys for subscribing once again. Love you guys. Bye.